Hi, uh, this video is about uh, for loop uh, for the lab view. So for loop, it is used for the repeat operation, um, and you can read the for loop something like this. Uh, for i, uh, there is loop iteration. So for i is equal to start from zero to n minus one. There is loop count minus one. Uh, then perform operation inside the sub diagram. Okay, so that's what you can read it. So now let me show you how to uh, use the for view in the real live view here. So I have two panels open here. The uh, this is the front panel and this is the control panel or block diagram. Okay, so uh, to start with the first using the for loop, you have to go in the structure, and here you can see the for loop. Uh, you can uh, just drag here and then you can adjust the size here. Okay, so let's say this is my for loop here. Now, what I want to do here, um, I want to create an uh, array uh, by uh, giving the n uh, number of element. And that number of element, you can change it as your need. So to do that, um, I need to create the number of elements. I say, okay, uh, I create control here. And this will be my uh, number of element. Now, next thing I want to do is the I want to pick one of the random function. So if you go here in the in the mathematics, and then you click on numeric, and then you will find the random number here. So I can drag and drop the random number. Uh, next thing I want to multiply this uh, random number because this random number between any number between zero to one. So I'm going to um, multiply with the 100 okay, now you can connect the wire spool here wire 2 and then multiply and now I can create one constant here okay and that constant will be 100 so now whatever random number will be generated I am going to multiply it now this number will be in the floating point I want to get the absolute value so there is a one function here around to nearest okay so you can uh, use this function round to nearest and then connect to round to nearest and then um now you can um, take it out here so the way for loop work um, it will perform all the operation and then it will store in array and then uh, you can bring this data in the array so I can create the indicator here okay so this is a for loop uh, on the block diagram side now if I go here I can see the number of element that I want to create so I will bring it in the middle and this will be my array here and then I can extend this array so you can see the more element you can go horizontal or you can go vertical so let's say I want to create uh, five element on, the, on this array and they will be all the random number here so then you just click here run and as you see um, it performed the five operation and it will create the five element array so loop it ran five times and then it create the five element five random element here okay um, you can try again and this time again these are the random numbers so that's how for loop works um, so again this is the number of element the number of time you want to iterate your for loop and it um, this is the iteration here okay loop iteration so hopefully you like this uh, video on the lab view for loop uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.